What's going on everybody? This is Josh. I'm back once again. First and foremost, I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody who clicked on the uh, my first little movie review for Captain America Civil War. I guess it was a review. Um, it was more like a response to that jackass. We had those stupid thoughts on the movie and um, yeah, I got an overwhelmingly positive response. So you kind of encouraged me to come back onto the camera and uh, talk some spoilers, I guess. So thank you. And if you're here watching this movie, or not this movie watching this video before the movie comes out why would you do that I don't know you're kind of cheating yourself out of a great experience by spoiling it but you know hey it's your world I'm just living in it um so yeah if you're still here it's giving you right now spoiler territory you you will be spoiled I'm going to say some shit from the movie so I'm giving you the chance to click off anyways um I thought I was gonna start by talking about the negative in this film which is Zemo the villain but I've tried to do this video a couple of times now and to keep it under 15 minutes I think I should start with other things because the more I talk about Zemo the more I think about it and wasted opportunity and how it just didn't really connect like the rest of the film so let's go ahead and uh, start with uh, how the film started because I think that's 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 integral to the film uh, it's a 1991 flashback and you're at a Hydra base somewhere in the cold region or whatever. I couldn't remember where it was. Um, but you see the Winter Soldier, he's getting defrosted from his cryo sleep and he's getting uh, shock therapy, almost like brain wiped, similar to what was in the Winter Soldier when he was getting his, uh, he was getting his little shock on or whatever. And then somebody reads him, one of the Hydra agents reads like a, a series of words in a, a book and it reprograms him and then they set him on a mission to to extract and kill uh anybody who's extracting that that the package that he needed to take out so what he ends up doing they show they show the footage or whatever not footage they show him driving up on a motorcycle and killing two people in a mercedes benz and taking out five packages and the packages turn out to be super soldier serum i guess it may be similar to either i don't know if it was similar to the bucky strain or the captain america strain i'm assuming captain america i'm gonna lean toward that way because it turns out the people that he killed were tony stark's parents um so like we start off with there so the stakes are set boom you, you enter the movie and then it flashes quickly to the mission in lagos that you see in a whole bunch of trailers now and you see that like you see just like them working as a unit cap uh scarlet witch black widow uh the falcon you see them all communicating just in lagos and they try uh they're trying to um you know find crossbones basically they're hunting crossbones and um you we get our introduction you see like you know black widow is giving scarlet witch the 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 rundown or whatever kind of teaching her how to be a better spy you know because that's not scarlet witch's mo you know she was just a, a twin that was in captivity in age of Ultron. so they're hunting them and it's crazy because they shot this in downtown atlanta i saw when they were doing this they turned this little pit area into a, what you would call lego sense movie or a, i don't know if i'm saying that correctly i'm sorry if you're from there i'm saying it wrong but um yeah so you get our we get our introduction to Falcon is up high, of course, and you get our introduction to Red Wing, his drone. And his drone flies underneath a, a truck, and the, the drone identifies that the truck is a battering ram. So, boom, movie starts out with action like that, and um, they break into the they break into the the courtyard of a place that has like a biological uh, agent that could hurt people, obviously. And um, that's when you see Cap getting like captain ball and like falcon dropping captain and he captain balls into a dude presumably killing him and killing everybody else like you know kicking him and drop kicking him and doing all this stuff like that and you just see the cohesive movement as a unit long story short they they do all this stuff they finally get to crossbones and crossbones he has his little gloves and he's fighting and he's whooping ass they're both fighting each other and uh cap finally gets him down to the point where he's just done he can't fight anymore and then uh, Crossbones reveals himself. He reveals his, his burnt face, how they dropped a building on him and all that stuff like that. And how he's angry at him. But he, he mentions Bucky's name. And he mentions something. I can't remember. He, he said something about Bucky to the point where it distracted Cap. And he sets off a suicide bomb. 
and Scarlet Witch, who is the sh by far the strongest person in this film. In this film, she may be one of the strongest people in in this MCU. You know what I'm saying? I'm familiar with her with the House of M and all this stuff like that. I read the comics. I read that part. So, um, but you know, they got some more galactic stuff down the line. So, but anyway, she's just definitely the strongest person in this film. So she she creates like a barrier around. Um, crossbones and throws them up in the air to try to uh, you know keep the, the explosion from being down on the ground that explosion blows up a building and that building so happened to contain 11 Wakandans and why that is a problem is because Wakanda is where T'Challa is from the Black Panther so not only do they have all these other situations that happen from Age of Ultron, that happen in uh, the Winter Soldier with the Helicarriers, that happen with uh, Avengers with the New York Portal, London with the little realms and the ether and all that stuff like that. They have a new one where uh, diplomatic agents from Wakanda were just blown up and it was because of Scarlet Witch and because of Captain's love affair with uh, Bucky that he dropped his attention and he couldn't focus on what was at hand so that's when the sokovia Accords are introduced um but before, right before then tony is uh meted, greeted by a black lady and um she has um he has ptsd because she was digging in her purse about to pull out a picture but he know he know he was scared he's like oh no don't do that he, he was kind of worried and she explains that before he was going to school or whatever he spent his summer in Sokovia and he died in Sokovia so you know that guilt is on Tony right there so you can see why he's actually leaning because he, he did create Ultron you can see why he's actually leaning towards what happens in the Sokovia Accords so the Sokovia Accords I'm trying to talk fast because I have officially eight minutes Sokovia Accord introduces the the oversight and um, there's 117 nations in the UN that say the Avengers whoever signs this paper this paper they will be under the official care and guidance of the UN and the UN will dispatch them as they see fit and if they don't agree to it they can just retire and just disappear and um, that's where the the ideological battle begins where Cap doesn't believe in that because he says you know people may have shifting agendas and who's to say we shouldn't go here 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 to save the world even though there is some collateral damage and I do agree with that point and then you know uh, Tony was like, you know, we're no better than the bad guys. You've seen it in the, the trailers and all that stuff like that. So that's where it says this, the movie just sets it off right there. Like there's um, there's just just that issue right there. It's just that issue um, of like where where do you stand? Where do you want the freedom and just the or, or the accountability? However you want to do it, and it sets it up well. Um, so like I said, the it's. It's blown up by Scarlet Witch, but there's also another bomb in which comes from the villain, Zemo. And Zemo, he kind of blows up the UN when they're going to sign the Sokovia Accords. And he sets it up to where the Winter Soldier, Cap's friend, is the um, the person who blew it up. So he tried to make it, you know, release the information and make it seem that... Um, Cap's friend, Bucky, as we know, was responsible for the bombing. Um, that's not the case, obviously. Um, so, in the UN bombing, which you've seen in this, the, the, the commercials, most of the stuff you've seen in the commercials, T'Challa, T'Challa's father, T'Chaka, King T'Chaka, was speaking to the UNs and, you know, just basically talking about the Sokovia Accords, and he ended up dying. And so the Black Panther is pissed. He's pissed. Like every time he's on screen, first and foremost, he's regal. He has one-liners. He he just seems like royalty. So I'm excited for his movie. Um, he's pissed. He finds out that he finds out that the Winter Soldier is behind it. And what happens is Captain America goes to try to find Bucky and be like, "Yo, I gotta bring you in. If I bring you in, you'll live, or whatever. But if they come in, they're coming to kill you." So. This is uh this is where they fight down the stairwell and 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 Cap is like you know telling him like man don't pull your punches man don't kill him or whatever so that's what he's doing and you know he he believes him that he didn't kill him that he didn't kill the people and um so this is where we got the biggest chair I guess one of the biggest chairs is where we were first introduced 
to the not the Winter Soldier, the Black Panther in his suit. And his suit is absolutely stunning. It's one of the best things I've seen in the MCU, man. So, you know, you get the chases and all that stuff like that. And they're they're fighting and it's fighting to the point where nobody knows that it's T'Challa yet. And they're just like stunned because he's strong, he's fast, he's going for the kill. He's flat out going for the kill. And once you see him on screen, you're gonna be like, yo, is this is just amazing. Like he was one of the best parts of the film to me. And um, so you know, you you also go into that chase sequence that you see in commercials and spots now. And he's he's extremely fast and then but long story short, they get caught and all that stuff. And Zemo comes in, eventually programs. He gets he gets his hand on the book. I'm going to go into, uh, maybe I'll make two videos so I can try to explain it because I feel like I'm rushed and I'm so sorry. But um, Zemo gets his hands on the, the, the sequence of words to program a then captured uh, Bucky. And he reprograms him. And then that's when all hell breaks loose. Like he breaks out again and he beats up tony he beats up the avengers for the most part he uh black panther all that stuff like that well they they come to a standstill with the black panther but you know it's just like it's a whole bunch of sequences that come together that just make this film just awesome so eventually people start taking sides to the point where it's just like no you can't do this and people are afraid i don't forgot i forgot to mention this i got like four more minutes or three more three more minutes but people are afraid of scarlet witch in this film because of what happened in uh lagos and just like in general they don't know her powers so vision is deemed to be in charge to of keeping her in the avengers facility and she doesn't like that and and that's when they bring hawkeye in to convince her to leave and kind of like try to beat vision or just like try to be crazy and get vision off of her and um, Vision beats Hawkeye's ass, like not to the point where he hurts, but like, cause he gets, he finds out that it's a joke or whatever, or not a joke, he finds out it's a diversion. And he phases through while Hawkeye's trying to hit him and all this stuff like that, and he beats his ass. And, but then we see Scarlet Witch, if you've seen the, the trailers, where Scarlet Witch just like disables Vision to the point where she just, she just like, she just like cripples him and sends him in the ground like i thought she was sending him to the core of the earth she sent them levels and levels and levels and they just left that's when they recruit ant-man and um yeah so ant-man turns into giant man at the airport as you may know and i wish i i really am gonna make another video but spider-man strength level is appropriate it's just everything so um, you know what? I was I was sitting here contemplating whether I'm gonna make another video because I think I only have a limit of 15 minutes, but you know I think I will I will make another video so we can just you know you can kind of get where I'm going right now and I don't want to really talk too too much about everything in in the rest of this video that I have left so I think I'm gonna continue it in a part two and uh, if you want to watch that one you can. Watch that too, man. I appreciate it. Peace out.